collisions are primarily for rescue. The running fires obviously walk the fires out, but it's still working on roads. It's buried in the rear of the vehicle, has gone through the windscreen, and because of the injuries, we're now looking at a fatality. Everything is left, uh, so that, like I say, the police can carry this out. Okay, so there's a fire engine on the yard, there's police cars, and there's a smashed up car. What's it in aid of? Right, basically we've come here today to show you the effects of um, what would happen if you're involved in a road traffic collision. Um, unfortunately, the vehicle we have outside, you've, you've seen the black car on the trailer. Mm. That was a young guy called Matthew Walston that was killed uh, about two years ago in that car. Mm. And he died having gone out the night before, um, had quite a lot to drink. Yeah. He came home about two o'clock in the morning, went to bed for about five hours, thought he'd be okay, uh, got back in the car the following morning, drove it twice over the limit, even though he didn't think he was over the limit, mm. uh, and ended up killing himself and seriously injuring two, two other members of the public mm. who were just driving, minding their own business, basically. Mm. So what we're here to do today is try and show you the effects of that, but more importantly, try and teach you how to avoid becoming another mm. statistic. Yeah. So is it Matthew, his name is? The guy was called Matthew Alston, yeah. yeah. So how often do cases like this happen? All the time. Um, people are getting killed on the roads all the time. Thousands are killed and seriously injured every year. Mm -hmm. um, statistics are going down, the roads are safer. Um, but even so, there's still far too many people killed on the roads and that's what my job is to try and stop that happening. So it's, it's alcohol, isn't it? You've got alcohol. There's things about, there's alcohol, which is an issue for us. People yeah. not wearing the seat belts, mm -hmm. people speeding, uh, and people being on mobile phones. Those are the four main causation factors of mm -hmm. serious accidents. Is it a lot of like Facebooking, texting, tweeting? Texting is a big one, um, but even though people know that it's wrong, people still drive round with the phone mm. up to the up to their ears, basically. If you're using the phone and you cause a fatal accident, and we prove that you're using the phone. You're looking at 14 years in prison for mm. that. Because on the budget, the price of booze or alcohol has gone down. What do you think about that? It has. Well, the price, the price of alcohol has gone down. Um, but again, we don't want to say to people, don't go out and have a good time. By all means, go out, drink responsibly. And drinking responsibly also includes not going out the same evening or the morning after whilst you're still under the influence of alcohol. All right, thank you. No thank you. Thank you.